everyone and thanks very much for coming back and joining me. So I am, as you can tell from the title, I am really happy to be coming on and doing my spoiler review. So if you haven't seen it yet, please click out. I don't want to be ruining it for anybody. Of Season 7, Episode 4 of Star Wars The Clone Wars. So let's roll the intro and then let's talk about this. <laughs> going off obviously episode three which I reviewed last week at the end of the episode as was saying in my review in case anybody didn't get to see it was with Echo you know it seemed definitely like there's just something not quite right with him there was something sort of a bit offish at the end when he was at the end of the episode and I was saying in my last review that I definitely felt that it is very possible that the separatists have something inside Echo and you know, that was my sort of prediction. Now something that I really loved before obviously the episode properly began was of course the quote that uh, came up at the beginning trust placed in another is trust earned because that's of course so perfectly fitting of course for this episode and I love how they always do that obviously but I just thought I would say that that was a really cool one uh, to start off before the episode started off and this episode started off with three great characters and I thought these characters were great in this I will get more into uh, what I thought of the characters in this throughout this uh, review but it started off of course with Anakin awesome Anakin I love Anakin he's my second favorite in this series overall Ahsoka is my all-time favorite but anyways right moving on Anakin Mace Windu and Obi-Wan who is probably my third favorite in this uh, series and of course they're fighting for planet Anaxis from Admiral uh, Trench and this episode obviously of course if you've seen it because this is a spoiler review you will know that obviously this was heavily based on that it's heavily based on his command ship and him uh, Admiral Trench and of course Echo and uh, Tech team up in this episode and I thought that that was really really cool how them two characters sort of teamed up together and just the both of them and obviously you know Tech's a bit skeptical at first obviously you know understandably but how them two interacted together and how they teamed up and were actually teaming to help each other I thought was a very very interesting idea for those two characters so that's something that I actually really loved straight off the bat with um uh, this episode so Echo you know at the beginning of the episode with Mace Windu and Anakin and Obi-Wan and he walks over and he's pretty much like you know he has a proposal for them and they're like well okay you know if he has you know some sort of an idea or whatever of how we can you know get this sort of sort of thing I want to hear it so he proposes an idea and Echo basically sends a signal to Trench's command ship but of course Trench you know explains to him that if we're going to pull this off sort of thing we need to make sure it looks as though we're sending the signal from Skako Minor which of course was Skako Minor was where Echo was being held prisoner for a very long time obviously we've seen that in the other episodes something that I really loved guys about this episode was Obi-Wan and I, I'm sure a lot of you will agree I thought that he had really really cool lines within this so basically moving on they basically got the droids to pretty much go in on Mace Windu and Obi-Wan their location and then Echo pretty much put like a power surge through them and then that stopped that that pretty much just cut through them uh so that was really cool how they done that within the episode that was obviously a very cool uh plan and then of course we had Anakin the best scene of the whole episode and I'm sure it was a lot of people's favorites from the whole entire episode of this you can let me know below I would not be surprised if this was your favorite part of this the whole episode was great but Anakin of course uh goes to Admiral Trench 
and of course he kills him and before that Abel Trench is all like you know Jedi scum or whatever it was he said and we got to see Anakin use the force that was such a cool scene I really love seeing that I was so happy and but not only that what was so interesting about this is I've always found Anakin's character uh, so interesting within the series of Star Wars The Clone Wars I think it's so fantastically smart how they have done his his character but what i loved in this specific episode wasn't just the fact that we're seeing him using the force but uh in that scene with uh, admiral trent but was also because we get sort of like a glimpse sort of thing uh of the man that he's becoming obviously and i think that's really really cool for me to see i love anakin and like i've said before i love him in all the movies and everything and i think he is a very very interesting character but at the same time, I think what they have done with him within the Clone Wars is just so smart and so clever and hats off seriously to everybody who's um, worked on this because his character in this is absolutely amazing. You know, like I know there's a lot of people that haven't seen Star Wars The Clone Wars, but you know, if people that really love Anakin, I would definitely say that I don't know why they should just definitely at least give uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars a try. So like if you know anybody that loves Anakin, I would say like try and get them. Um to watch it but yeah there was something funny that he said on his way out you know after he killed him and it was really funny but it's late at night here in ireland guys and i'm trying to remember what was it was it like see you later or later uh, admiral admiral or something like that or i'll catch you later or i'll see you later or something anyway it was something funny as in like yeah i've just killed you did haha <laughs> moving on sort of thing but yeah um also i wanted to talk about wrecker because as i was saying earlier he was my second favorite in this uh, aside from Anakin because I mean after that scene of Anakin and he's my second favourite anyway uh, in uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars and obviously Anakin was in this episode a lot so of course Anakin is going to be the star of the show and he stole the show from me but my second favourite was Wrecker because he's, such a, he's so funny he cracks me up it was absolutely hilarious one of the droids went oh no not the face and he literally just smashes him in the freaking face and it's just like oh my gosh like you did you're so funny but then if you think about that scene and then you go from that scene and then you go to a, like a scene like where he gets all like emotional and choked up because Anakin's like oh Wrecker because early in the episode he's like oh Wrecker's gonna love this and he goes to him oh Wrecker I have a present for you and then he's like I can't remember exactly what he said he's like really I I I can I'm gonna be the one to blow it up. Or I can blow it up, pretty much. Not those exact words, but you know you've seen the episode. You know what I'm talking about, guys. And that was absolutely hilarious because it's just how he says it, just like a little like just all emotional and everything. But if you go to earlier, like just oh no, not the face, the droid, and then it poof, smashes him literally right in the face, literally smashed him right in the face. So I absolutely love Wrecker. He is absolutely hilarious. And, you know, the Bad Batch just in general were fantastic in this episode. And I love that, obviously, going off the real emotion, emotion and sadness of episode three to this to be such an overall fantastically done, really, um, of course, they're all fast, fantastically done. That's not what I was trying to say, guys. But to go to a really fun, and I would say this episode, the best way to describe it was fun, enjoyable visibly fantastic and humorous and really cool i mean we got to see anakin kill uh, admiral trench and it was just so cool all the visuals just everything and something that i really love that i want to quickly say as i already said this last week and i'm colorblind i already said that last week too but you know all the lovely beautiful stunning uh tints and tones or whatever they use uh, throughout the clone wars i've always always uh loved and you know again today sitting and watching it it's just stunning like i think the visuals are great i know it's not for everybody but i think they're great uh, there was so many beautiful scenes in the sky like beautiful like purple's my favorite color but it looked very like fluorescent pink but almost with like lavenderish uh purple blue tones but feel free to say julie yeah you're definitely colorblind because that wasn't the colors i was seeing but that's what i was seeing anyways guys but then of course at the end we get to see you know echo say you know a goodbye farewell to rex and then he becomes the fifth member of the uh bad batch of the squad of the bad batch basically and the music, of course, by Kevin Kenner again, killed it absolutely phenomenal yet again. And to be honest, it, it took me a couple of minutes to think about whether I preferred this one to the third episode. But 
uh, then I kind of came to the realization that no, to be honest, if I had to genuinely give you my honest opinion, I enjoyed this one more than the third one. But like I said last week, I absolutely love the third one. But up to now, I've only seen the first four because the fifth one's not out till uh, next uh, Friday. But up to now, the fourth one has been my favourite. I had a blast watching this. I watched it this afternoon with a cup of coffee and a chocolate bun. It was lovely, by the way, in case anybody's interested. But oh my gosh, Anakin Skywalker killed it in this episode. I might actually watch it again because I really, really love this episode. And yeah, I mean, like I said last week, I even said, can we get even better than this? And yes, we freaking well did, obviously, quite clearly, because I personally, anyways, enjoyed this episode more than the last one. So I'm really, I'm actually really excited now to see, be interesting actually, guys, to see how it's going to go next week. Because I wonder next week when I watch episode five, will I enjoy it even more than episode four? And I'll say what I said last week, can it get any better than this? So what I really want to know down in the comments, question of the evening. It probably won't be evening for everybody, but it's evening for me. By the time I get this up, it'll probably be like, I don't know, almost 11.30 at night or something like that. But the question of the evening for all of my lovely viewers and subscribers is, did you like this episode? And you can let me know as well if you wish, who your favourite character is from this episode. And if you had anything that you weren't maybe overly fussed on or that you wanted to sort of, we can discuss in the comment section uh, below. I always try and respond to as many of you as possible. All of you most of the time. So I love hearing from everybody. And also you can let me know who your favourite character in Star Wars Clone Wars is in general. Or even who your favourite Star Wars character is in general. Mine's Han Solo, in case you are new to the channel. And for anybody who is relatively new, thank you so much for uh, deciding to decide to, deciding to decide, sorry, deciding to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. And to everyone else who has been here for a long time or whatever, thanks so much as always for all the kind words of support. And not only that, but all the encouragement that you've given me. It means more than you know. All the comments of encouragement that you leave me. Like someone saying things like, you know, someone left me a comment on my 1917 movie review saying, I really appreciate how you do lay out your reviews and stuff because um it's very, it was very in depth and you know it was a really long review but I really appreciate it you know the effort that you put in I appreciate that because they're pretty much saying that they really enjoyed it and that they appreciate the time that I put in well I really appreciate the time that all of you put in to not only watching my videos taking up your own personal time but taking up your own personal time to leave me a comment to give me a, a smile give me encouragement honestly it means the world um I won't keep you any longer because I know that I always I'd stay my stay and talk too much. But thanks very much from the bottom of my heart all the way from Ireland. And I will see you all in my next video, guys. But as a quick reminder, as always, I got to promote my Retro Fridays. If you didn't get the chance to see my Retro uh, Fridays, I actually talked about Spawn for my Retro Fridays yesterday. So if you didn't get to see it, if you're here and you're free and you want to, Feel free to go onto my channel, go to my Retro Fridays playlist and you can watch me talking about the movie Spawn if you are at all interested. And if you like retro movies and you'd like to hear me talk about another retro movie, then if you're free, why not come along and uh, join us all on Friday. And uh, I always set it up as a premiere. So I do come on with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and I will be in the chat and responding so yeah really look forward to hanging out with you all on friday as usual i will most likely have a video up before that though so thanks so much and i will see you all soon guys bye